Every day, approximately 150 species disappear from our planet. This staggering statistic serves as a grim reminder of the urgent need to act now. Species extinction rates have accelerated, reaching levels unseen since the era of the dinosaurs. Such loss of biodiversity is not just a tragedy for the natural world, it has significant implications for human life as well. The reasons behind these extinctions are complex and interwoven. Human activities, directly or indirectly, drive most of these losses. From deforestation to pollution, our actions have caused irreparable damage. By understanding the scope and scale of the problem, we can begin to reverse these alarming trends. What can we do to stem the tide of extinction? We must first raise awareness. Education and advocacy are powerful tools in the fight for conservation. We need to engage communities, influence policymakers, and inspire the next generation to cherish and protect the diverse life forms that share our planet. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, Red List is a critical tool in assessing the conservation status of species worldwide. This comprehensive inventory categorizes species based on their risk of extinction. From least concern to critically endangered, the Red List provides invaluable data for conservation efforts. The concept of the sixth mass extinction is not mere hyperbole. Scientists have identified a pattern of accelerated species loss comparable to the five previous mass extinction events in Earth's history. This time, however, the cause is not a meteor impact or volcanic eruption, but human activity. Understanding these classifications helps us prioritize conservation efforts. Species categorized as critically endangered require immediate attention and resources. The Red List acts as a beacon guiding conservationists in their vital work to save the planet's most imperiled species. The sixth mass extinction underscores the urgency of our mission. We are the first generation to truly comprehend the consequences of our actions, and possibly the last with the opportunity to make a meaningful impact. Habitat loss is perhaps the most significant threat to biodiversity. As human populations expand, natural habitats shrink. Forests are cleared for agriculture, urban development invades wild spaces, and waterways are dammed. This destruction leaves countless species without the resources they need to survive. Poaching and illegal wildlife trade further threaten many species. Despite international bans, the demand for ivory, rhino horn and exotic pets continues to drive this illicit industry. The economic incentives for poachers often outweigh the risks, perpetuating a cycle of exploitation. Climate change exacerbates these threats, altering ecosystems faster than species can adapt. Rising temperatures, shifting weather patterns and ocean acidification disrupt the delicate balance of nature. Many species find themselves unable to cope with these rapid changes. Human-wildlife conflict is another growing concern. As humans encroach on wildlife habitats, encounters become more frequent. These conflicts can lead to the displacement of wildlife, destruction of property, and even loss of life, further complicating conservation efforts. The vaquita, a small porpoise native to the northern Gulf of California, is one of the world's most endangered marine mammals. With fewer than 20 individuals remaining, the species is on the brink of extinction. The primary threat to the vaquita is bycatch in illegal gillnet fisheries targeting totoaba, a fish whose swim bladder is highly valued in traditional Chinese medicine. Efforts to save the vaquita have faced numerous challenges. Despite bans on gillnets and the establishment of marine protected areas, illegal fishing persists. Conservationists have employed a range of strategies, from deploying patrol teams to incentivizing alternative livelihoods for local fishermen. The plight of the vaquita highlights the complexities of conservation. It requires balancing ecological goals with economic realities. Without a concerted, coordinated effort, this remarkable creature may soon be lost forever. Yet, there is still hope. 
Organizations like the Vakita CPR are working tirelessly to raise awareness and protect the remaining population. By supporting these initiatives, we can help ensure a future for the Vakita. Always hopeful. The last of their kind. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on conservation efforts. The curious case of the axolot. The axolotl, a unique amphibian found only in the lakes of Mexico City, is famous for its extraordinary regenerative abilities. Unlike most amphibians, which metamorphose into adult forms, axolotls retain their juvenile features throughout their lives. This fascinating creature is now critically endangered due to habitat destruction and pollution. Urban sprawl and water pollution have significantly degraded the axolotl's natural habitat. As Mexico City continues to grow, the ancient lake systems that once supported robust axolotl populations have been drained or contaminated. Efforts to restore these habitats face significant challenges. Conservationists are employing innovative techniques to save the axolotl. Captive breeding programs aim to bolster population numbers, while educational initiatives foster local stewardship. Additionally, researchers are investigating the axolotl's regenerative properties, seeking to unlock medical breakthroughs that could benefit humans. The axolotl's story is one of resilience and adaptation. Despite the odds, this remarkable species has captured the hearts and minds of people around the world. By investing in its survival, we not only preserve a unique part of our natural heritage, but also gain valuable insights into the wonders of life itself. Pangolins, often referred to as scaly anteaters, are among the most trafficked mammals on Earth. Their distinctive armor of keratin scales makes them a target for poachers, who sell them for use in traditional medicine and as a luxury food item. All eight species of pangolins are now threatened with extinction. The illegal wildlife trade poses a dire threat to pangolins, but there are signs of hope. International cooperation has led to increased enforcement of anti-poaching laws and crackdowns on trafficking networks. Conservation organizations work tirelessly to rescue and rehabilitate pangolins caught in this vicious trade. Pangolins also face habitat loss due to deforestation and agricultural expansion. Protecting their natural environments is crucial for their survival. Community-based conservation programs aim to develop sustainable practices that benefit both local people and wildlife. The plight of the pangolin is a poignant reminder of the impact of human greed on nature. Yet, with concerted global efforts, we can turn the tide. By supporting anti-trafficking initiatives and sustainable development, we can help ensure a future for these incredible creatures. The saula, often dubbed the Asian unicorn, is one of the rarest animals in the world. Discovered in 1992, it inhabits the dense forests of Vietnam and Laos. With fewer than 100 individuals left, the saola is critically endangered. Habitat loss and poaching are its primary threats. Forest clearing for agriculture and infrastructure diminishes its range. Poachers' snares often capture saolas, pushing them closer to extinction. Conservationists face challenges in protecting the saola. Its secretive nature and remote habitat make it difficult to study. Organizations like the Saola Working Group are dedicated to its survival. The Saola symbolizes the mystery and wonder of the natural world. Its survival depends on protecting and restoring its habitat. In preserving the Saola, we preserve the rich biodiversity of the region. The California condor is a remarkable success story in the world of conservation. Once on the brink of extinction, with only 27 individuals remaining in the wild in 1987, this iconic bird has made a dramatic comeback. Through intensive conservation efforts, its population has now grown to over 500. The condor's recovery is a testament to the power of collaborative conservation. Captive breeding programs, habitat protection, and public awareness campaigns have all played a vital role. 
The reintroduction of condors into their natural habitat marks a significant milestone in the fight against extinction. The success of the California condor underscores the importance of perseverance and innovation in conservation. It demonstrates that with dedication and resources, we can reverse the decline of even the most imperiled species. This story of hope and resilience inspires conservationists worldwide. By learning from the condor's recovery, we can apply these lessons to other species facing similar threats, ensuring a brighter future for Earth's biodiversity. Conserving Earth's rarest species requires a collective effort and everyone can play a part. Here are actionable steps you can take to contribute to wildlife conservation. Support conservation organizations. Donations to reputable conservation organizations provide essential funding for their work. For instance, the Wildlife Conservation Network supports conservationists worldwide, ensuring that 100% of donations go directly to protecting species. Symbolic animal adoptions. Adopting a species symbolically through organizations like the World Wildlife Fund helps raise awareness and funds for specific conservation projects. Make sustainable lifestyle choices. Lifestyle changes can have a significant impact. Reducing waste, conserving water and supporting sustainable products contribute to a healthier planet. By making environmentally conscious choices, we can reduce our ecological footprint and support biodiversity. Volunteer your time, participate in local conservation efforts by volunteering at wildlife refuges, national parks or community science projects. Organizations like Earthwatch Institute offer opportunities for citizen scientists to engage in hands-on conservation work. Endangered.org and .wikipedia.org use social media for advocacy. Social media is a powerful tool for advocacy. By sharing information and raising awareness about endangered species, we can inspire others to join the cause. Engaging in discussions, signing petitions and supporting conservation campaigns amplifies our collective voice. Participate in citizen science projects. Engage in citizen science initiatives that monitor wildlife populations and health. For example, projects like the Tour de Turtles track sea turtle migrations, providing valuable data for conservation efforts. Support eco-friendly tourism. Choose travel options that prioritize conservation and support local communities. Participating in ecotourism can provide funding for conservation projects and promote sustainable practices. In conclusion, saving Earth's rarest species is not just a moral duty, it is vital for our survival. By taking action today we can ensure a thriving planet for future generations. Together, we can make a difference and be a part of the solution. Call to action, join the fight for conservation and help secure a future for our planet's incredible biodiversity. Subscribe to our channel, The Last of Their Kind, for more insights and ways to get involved.